For this week's lesson, I wanted to talk about combining phrasing with technique and relaxation. Uh, this came about this week with one of my students, and I just wanted to kind of give you some ideas about it and how you can use it both in the practice room um, and as well in performance. I would say the key points to this lesson are we want to present better phrasing for our audience and for our music making. We want to uh, make sure we have good hand and posture positions and guitar positions, so just good technique overall. We want to relax and release tension more often because tension does naturally build up sometimes. We want to release it regularly. And the final thing is that when we practice relaxation and pushing the reset button after each phrase, it, it isn't just something we think about. It, it becomes part of our muscle memory, just like learning to play a piece, you know, doing the next movement. Part of the movement is relaxing the muscles and releasing that tension. So it becomes part of the muscle memory. So you don't have to necessarily think about it, but you just, um, you naturally, as part of your practicing of the piece, release tension after each phrase. So it's something your body will just learn to do naturally without having to think about it. So lots of, of benefits to um, doing this in the practice room and on the performance stage. Maybe that's the last thing too. On the performance stage, if you have performance nerves, release, you know, pushing the reset button after each phrase allows you to forget about any mistakes you just made or any bad technique habits you just did and reset, relax, and continue with the next phrase as if you're starting fresh. So the idea is this, is that it's very common for students to build up tension as they play a piece. So, you know, they walk up on stage or, or they just begin in the practice room with good posture and relaxation. So they're not, you know, t super tense, but they start like this because they've, they know they should get into that state. But then as they play through a piece, you know, they start building up tension and as they go through the piece the tension increases and they start making mistakes and it just kind of gets worse and worse um, but another situation too is just especially for crossover students or new students who haven't firmly established their posture yet as they play they tend to drift they they tend to drift out of a good position you know they might start start like just totally drifting into a posture that just isn't isn't good or they start to you know slouch and stuff so what we'll talk about today is something really good about presenting phrases to your audience but also combining that with the need to correct your posture and your positions and to relax periodically throughout the piece at the ends of phrases so at the end of a phrase, we usually tend to relax the momentum of the rhythm, right? It's not rubato so much, but we just kind of relax. So for example, so at the end of that phrase there, relax, and then I start again. You can even see I like put gestures in to like cue myself in, uh, which is helpful for both me and the audience. So we usually relax at the end of a phrase. That way it shapes the phrase, right? Like there's one phrase, here's the next phrase. When you reach the end of a phrase and you, you do a little bit of a relaxation and maybe a little decrescendo, um, take that opportunity to relax your shoulders or whatever other tension you have in your body to relax and to reposition your posture. When you cue back in, it might be a good a, a way of like bringing your posture up and then back in. So when you reach the end of a phrase, relax everything and start fresh. Usually, especially in classical era music, um, the phrases will be very symmetrical, like every four bars. In this piece, uh, Soar's Opus 60, number 20, uh, it's four bar phrasing. So every four bars, there's a relaxing end of a phrase, right? Relax. 
X, we set. Next phrase. Relax. Next phrase. So every four bars, there's this opportunity for you to push the reset button, for you to correct your posture, to relax your muscles, all in combination with good phrasing. So by, you know, you're, you're trying to present to your audience these beautiful phrases and, so, and also to break the piece up so it doesn't sound like you're just continuously playing notes, but you're presenting larger chunk ideas, right? It's not just a rambling sent, a paragraph with no, with no sentences. It's like you're presenting sentences to the audience, and, which is a really good thing and very musical thing to do, uh, something that students uh, could do more of, present nice phrasing but also to combine it and to release some of that tension, to reset your posture, and also to reset your mind. You know, like music takes a lot of concentration and we get very tired. If we're playing a long piece, we get very tired of concentrating so hard. But if you can just relax a little bit at the end of each phrase, I even find it very good for my concentration. I get to kind of like, you know, I'm over exaggerating the break at the end of the phrase, but it's like it just feels good to take a break at the end of that phrase. Um, for some students, I might recommend they do it more often. You know, in a tax, more taxing piece such as uh, Soar's Opus 60, number 18, you have all these little um, technique uh, arpeggio figures, and uh, it can become quite tense in the hands. <laughs> And it's like, it's a lot of da-da-da-da-da, da 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 And if you build up tension there, you'll lose the re rapidity and the, and the relaxing presentation. It can get very tiring very quickly. So at the end of a phrase... Relax. Start again. your shoulders, relax everything, and then you keep going. Another piece where it's four bar phrasing. So every four bars you can have this really nice break and start again fresh. In a piece like this, you may even, when you're in the practice room, um, just relax after every single figure. Relax, 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 relax. You know, like after each one to consciously take note of relaxation, you know, each one is presented as a new shape, and when you release one shape and you move to the next one, you can relax your shoulders each time. It's hard for me to say it after each one, but, but on a micro level, relax, 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 relax. You know, after each one, you can check your tension level. Uh, I think this is particularly useful um, for crossover students who aren't used to the classical position. They can play really well, but like they're just issues are occurring from tension and the new posture and positions. It's also useful for students who are kind of going from the early intermediate or late beginner and transitioning into a more advanced level because they uh, they might have been focusing on good posture and focusing on some on some things, but then. Um, trying to keep track of tension throughout the entire body, uh, it's, it's really tough to track sometimes. You're trying to multitask, you're reading music, you're um, presenting the phrasing, you're, you're watching your hand positions, you know, there's all this information happening. Um, and then tension builds up somewhere, whether it be in the neck or the jaw or the face. Facial tension is, is a big issue. So my advice to you is to, um, I'm encouraging you to make your pieces have better phrasing and for you to, to make sure you know the phrasing and to mark the phrasing and to present that phrasing nicely to the audience and at the same time be checking your posture and your relaxation after each phrase so that you can have like a real combined musical, positive musical and positive physical experience uh, when you're practicing and when you're actually performing. If you suffer from performance nerves this is a great way to push the reset button after each phrase. If you made a mistake in the previous 
phrase, let it go, start afresh. You know, on every single phrase, you can start fresh as if you hadn't made any mistakes, as if you hadn't built up any tension, you can start fresh each time. And what you might find is that after doing it, after each phrase throughout the piece, your body just starts to remember how to relax. And I think that's the other thing too. If you practice like this in the practice room and relax after each phrase, your muscle memory, not just your mind, but your muscle memory will remember to relax. And maybe when you're performing, your muscles will just automatically remember that they, as just like they remember playing the piece, how to play the piece, they'll remember to relax after each phrase. And it'll just be a natural part, a natural habit that you've built up that your body will do. And you won't have to multitask so much with your mind, but you'll have practiced it and it will come out in the performance as well.